Murder hornets aren't a thing in Kansas, but try this one, paralyzer wasps. There's plenty of them around, and they all have their own fascinating and grisly stories. Maybe the most famous is the cicada killer, a huge striped wasp that parasitizes massive and heavy cicadas of the trees and fields. Cicada killers are out now, completing their adult lives in August and September as they produce next year's generation. And it's a story you've got to see to believe. It starts in July, when annual and bush cicadas crawl out of the soil. These are the hosts of cicada killers, which aren't far behind as they burrow out of the dirt and ready for the hunt. The big wasps first feed on flower nectar and tree sap as they strengthen for the task ahead. Male cicada killers set up watching posts from which to chase passing females. Stingless, they mate with the powerfully armed females and then die. But the female cicada killer leads a frenetic life for about the next six weeks. Acting alone, she digs a burrow into the soil, sometimes a foot deep and up to several feet long. A large dirt mound and a one and a half inch hole are usually evidence of this underground nest. And from the central tunnel, she digs side chambers which serve as nurseries. This digging may require days depending on soil moisture content, and it's often completed in stages rather than all at once. When a chamber is ready, the wasp goes hunting. Cicada killers fly and search limbs and stems with their keen eyes, easily spotting thumb-sized cicadas. They attack suddenly, using a long stinger to penetrate between abdominal segments. Their venom instantly immobilizes the cicada, but doesn't kill it. It simply paralyzes the living host. Then, with gargantuan strength, the cicada killer lifts and flies its host back to the burrow. Sometimes it flies its victim directly into the chamber. Other times it lands and drags it down. Inside it places the live host, sometimes two, into a cell and then lays an egg. The egg hatches and the tiny larva eats its host alive. Ugh. This is repeated until most nursery systems sustain more than a dozen baby cicada killers divided among multiple cells. Then all rest in the underground chambers for nearly a year before pupating and emerging as adults. Cicada killers are not dangerous to humans, stinging only if handled. Instead, they preserve as much venom as possible to subdue their larva's food. If you see one in your garden, consider it harmless. If you're not a cicada, there's nothing to worry about. Otherwise, enjoy the discovery of this long-lived and fascinating insect. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.